Det är mer okay. färg för det är ert okay. okay. If you have not witnessed an MMA match turned into a cat fight, we have it for you. An EFC fight between Vlismus and Wojcik could have been a normal combat sport, but the cocky behavior of Wojcik and the desperation of both fighters to prove themselves took it to another level. Wojcik was not only haughty in the ring, but even in press conferences and weighing ceremonies. Her cockiness was oozing out of her. The tension built up before the match, and fans were eager to see the aggressive beauties in the ring. But was that cockiness rewarded for Wojcik? Would she be able to knock out the composure of Vlizmas? And how did Vlizmas take that aggression? Stay with us as we unfold Vlizmas and Wojcik's drama. Let's see how both beauties turn this match into a wild show. From the pre-match brawl to the aggression in the ring, we have covered everything for you. The clash between two fighters was more of skills. It was a fight of pride, name, and settling scores. The match was littered with crazy moments. Cheyan Vlizmas, also known as Warrior Princess, is known for her resilience and fighting spirit. With one win and one loss on her plate, Vlizmas was undoubtedly an easy target for Wojcik. She was desperate to take her rightful position in MMA. Not ready to yield before Wojcik's insolent behavior, she knew how to take down aggression. The fight against Wojcik was her third important at this level. Before that, she had one win and one loss on her record. So a victory was needed to pay Wojcik off because she was desperate to make her place in the EFC and MMA. Though she appeared calm and poised, Wojcik's aggression also pushed her to aggression. With someone training for as early as four years in martial arts, showing aggression wasn't her game. But she knows how to take down the aggression and pay it in full without debt. But would she be able to tackle Wojcik in the ring? as Wojcik was way too aggressive. If cockiness has a face, it must have been Wojcik. The fight was her first show in EFC. She was on three fight winning streaks before this one. Her confidence was bordering on hubris. She was head to toe aggressive, poking, making fun, and almost disrespectful. Whether it was a weighing ceremony, a face-off session, or simply the match day, her body language, demeanor, and offensive strategy all exuberate her overconfidence. Hubris may be one of the seven deadly sins, but it surely has its advantage in the ring. Aggression sets you apart in the ring if you channel the energy correctly. Wojcik was confident to the point of desperation to make a place in EFC and MMA. And this sure was her chance. But did she prove herself in the ring? Did she channel her energy towards a victory? The fight turned into a crazy brawl even before the match began. Wojcik's body language was way too aggressive, crossing the boundaries of disrespect. During the face-off session and weighing ceremony, she was provocative. It was not just a show of aggression, she tried to play mind games, brimming with pride. Wojcik was poking, making fun, trying to intimidate Vlizmas. The pace of the match was set far before the actual fight began. Anyone can see the determination in Cheyenne's body language that she will counter this aggression and pay her off in the fight. As was predicted, the match started with electrifying energy. Both fighters were almost unstoppable. Wojcik, with her energy, and Cheni, with her passion for paying off, settling the score, and giving Wojcik what she had been asking for with her insolent behavior. Everyone was expecting a crazy bout, but what unfolded was rather unbelievable. The moment the fight started, both were on to each other. Cheyenne quickly threw Wojcik to the ground by hurling her feet. Punches, clinches, and kicks were everywhere. The show of skill was electrifying. Wojcik was not easy to tame in the ring. She was in full form, hurling Vlismas on the ground rather dramatically. The moment of round one was Vlismas all upside down, tangled in Wojcik's legs. The way she turned the table on Wojcik was almost unbelievable. She was fighting and slipped out of her lethal grip like a fish. 
Wojcik was trying hard for a submission. She was exerting every ounce of her efforts to hold Vlismus down or to dominate her, but all in vain. The round ended with both sides equally pounding each other, and everyone was glued to their seats. As we all know, the craziness was at its peak. Will Wojcik succeed in intimidating Vlismus? Or will Vlismus teach her the much-needed lesson? That leads us to round two, which was even more dramatic. The battle of supremacy intensified in round two. Both were almost to take the other one down. Not a sign of fatigue yet in a hexagon. Wojcik was furious by now, as she was still unable to take the situation under control. Vlismus was not intimidated at all. She was excellent in retaliating Wojcik's physical and mental games. Wojcik's strategy in round two was to subdue Vlismas and shatter her composure. Her offensive onslaught, feints, and body language aimed to push Vlismas into the corner. She was almost brilliant in countering some of the kicks from Vlismas. Vlismas' face almost showed signs of brutal punches and blows from Wojcik. She was holding on to herself great. The round was rather good for Wojcik, and the sign of brutal blows on Vlismas' face was too obvious but she was not giving in and found time for perfectly executed kicks. But how much longer Vlismas would take Wojcik's haughty behavior? The next round will decide the fate of the two fighters. Enough was enough, and it was now or never for the warrior princess. Now was the time to clear some long due debts, and Vlismas was ready to pay Wojcik the right way. Wojcik was desperate to take the game to the ground. It was brilliant how Vlismas utilized the cage and footwork to slip out of her clutch deftly. It was executed perfectly, and the fight's result hinged on the judge's decision. Vlismas's efforts were rewarded. The split decision was in her favor. The match was so close that even to date, many believe it was a draw match. What's your take on it? Leave your verdict in the comment box. It was an electrifying fight, and both fighters won the hearts of thousands of people present at that moment. Vlismas won by split decision. It was a narrow call, but victory is victory. Wojcik was too upbeat to channel her energy in hexagon the right way. Another cocky fighter paid the price of provoking. The match was full of entertainment without a dull moment. The way Vlismas held herself was commendable. She took Wojcik's aggression and replied with equal force. Instead of losing her calm, she countered each strike and nullified each strategy to hold her to the ground. If you enjoyed this display of skill and aggression, let us know in the comments. Watch how another cocky fighter was paid off in the octagon by Rod Tang. Stay tuned for more stories of aggression and retribution from MMA.